morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the day of the video, Darren, how's it going today? Today, I'm not really doing all that great to be honest with you because my face hurts because I'm growing a new head here on my lip, a huge ass spot. It's natural isn't it, it's like you're at university, you need to learn more and more stuff, your brain gets a bit full, what do you do? You grow another one, right on your face. So, otherwise though, um, headed on in today, it is quarter to eight, so we've got, we've made it here in good time. Um, I'm probably going to go and work in the library today. Um, at least for like the first couple of hours. If it starts to get busy, I might start looking for a different room to go to. But I am there for like four hours, and you know what I mean? Like, I get there so early, I basically have pick of the pl The problem with going to the library is, if you need the toilet or anything, like, you've got to either essentially pack everything away, you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's not easy. <laughs> then you might come back and someone's in the place, I don't know. Whereas normally, if you're in a room, then you can just like kind of hide all your stuff and then just disappear. But anyway. <laughs> Otherwise though, last night slept like an absolute baby um, and woke up this morning like 10 minutes before 10 minutes before my um, alarm went off and just like lay there just watching the alarm slowly get closer to 6 before getting up <laughs> so hey, noisy but yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty good um, Today we have one lecture and I have about 4 hours it's 12 o'clock it starts, so it's, it's not even 8 yet so I have uh, four hours to churn through some stuff. Last night I was doing a little bit of programming. I've also caught up on my notes, so I'm now ahead on lecture notes, officially. Why are people are in there? People are just sat around in the SU, like they're waiting for something. What are they waiting for? Loads of them as well. I wonder if there's like some kind of tickets going on sale or something, I don't know. Who the fuck's up before eight o'clock for that though? Jesus. But yeah, I've got four hours. Yesterday I was doing some programming. Today I want to do Java and my report, they're the two things. I'm feeling I'm gonna to have to do my report in LaTeX, which I'm not looking forward to, but there you go. It's really difficult to find a way to sit in the library. I'm very picky, aren't I? I think level three is the best. Oh, I'm not have much time to chat to you yet today, have I? Um, right, I have now come to, lectures are finished, and I've come into a lab, which I've found, which is free for two hours, which is good, because I need to have lunch, and I need to do a timed thing on the internet, so I actually need these computers. Some tutorial guy came in thinking it was, he was supposed to have a lab in here, and I'm like, hold on, <laughs> I've checked the timetable, are you in the right room? And he's actually supposed to be in a completely different building, so happy days. Uh, right, I'm gonna have a, what can I do for, I wanna have my lunch, nice and relaxed, and then we'll jump into this, uh, Thing. Let's hit the road. A kind of productive day today. Um, kind of productive in the sense that it was productive, but it didn't feel productive. Um, I also don't have car cam with me, so I can't vlog in the car. But I'll give you a roundup of what happened today. Basically, I went to the library to start with, sat there for about an hour or so, and then some a couple came across, sat in front of me so I could see they were facing me, and then proceeded to just continually kiss each other, take selfies with some tickets to a fucking shit gig and then just proceed to go to sleep. It was okay because at 10 o'clock I'd managed to like highlight a room that would be free for the next two hours so I went there for two hours instead um, at which point Beth joined me for a little bit. We discussed some plans that we are producing for tomorrow because we're doing stuff tomorrow which you should find relatively interesting just walk past the canteen vlogging YOLO um, and then I headed off to a lecture. I was running late um, to the lecture because I was doing programming work in that first four hours. I was working on my uh, bot agent to see if I could improve the way it was doing things. And I figured out a couple of clever things and then towards the end of it, I absolutely cocked it all up um, and then had some kind of infinite loop where it would just continually buy hotel rooms um, continually until it ran out of money <laughs> and then lose because it made zero dollars but negative. Otherwise I'm gonna have to talk to you later because I have going to head home. I'm gonna try and go home without a sat nav today. Let's see how well I do. <laughs> uh, right and I've got no car cam to talk to you with I'm sorry. I've talked to you there TTYL and I'm currently on the phone to Her Majesty's tax revenue income people. Um, so that's fun. Uh, otherwise though, ladies and gentlemen, today on the way home were the marked two different special occasions. I was driving today, and I can't do a tea bag one handed, I'm afraid. So today I spent, um, I did two different things in my car. Firstly, I drove back without a sat-nav, which isn't really that special, I never even look at the sat-nav. Um, but secondly, I did a full speed overtake on a single carriage road. It's the first time I've done that in my car. These fucking guys doing like 30 in a 60 zone. Jesus, do my... Do my absolute head in. 
um, listening out for this. Look, there's a do 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 I made some changes to my bot and then I broke it a little bit then it bought everything. Yeah, I remember saying that. Um, and then I went to a lecture in order to um, learn a little bit about parallel programming and that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to type up some lecture notes about parallel programming so that I am up to date on things, which is always nice. I like being up to date on things. I'll trust you there on the phone. I'm going to be like 35 minute wait on the phone, so hence why it's not pressed to my ear. And last time I said 35 minute wait, it was an hour long and then they put the phone down on me, so... Happy birthday. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we did that lecture and then I went hunting around for a free computer room. I needed to use a university computer in order to do an online test thing. Um, and I was sat in this room, it was free for two hours. Firstly, a guy came in, like a, a, a tutor. I used to have him, he used to tutor me for um, graphics, I think, in second year. Um, he came in and says, oh, you first... Oh, Christ, I just lift him up. Desk up with my arm. Um, he asked me like, oh, are you, are you first year uh, computer science? I'm like, no mate, no, this room's free for two hours. He goes, oh, oh right, checks his timetable. No, it's not on his timetable. I leave the room and I'm like, mate, you're in the wrong room. <laughs> this isn't the room you think it is. So um, he, he then left and then I sat down and did, did my little online test thing. And halfway through my test, sat in silence, two bloody air conditioner guys come in. They're fucking around with air conditioning, and then they just turn them on full blast. I'm freezing my balls off, and then, and then they're like, well, "What's serial number, Dave?" It's G X. I'm like, "Fuck's sake! Could you be any louder? Do you have to scream it? I mean, God!" So that was fun. Otherwise, I headed home, got home nice and quickly. Although I, well, so quickly in fact that I hit the school traffic in ba in Bristol, which wasn't good. Um, but now we're back, I've booked the dinner table and I'm now sitting on the phone to the tax man so I can get a tax refund because I paid too much income tax. My tax is back on its way um, to me now so um, essentially what's happened is I, because I, you pay income tax on everything you earn over a certain amount of money um, but I, because I finished my placement like mid-year essentially I was paying tax because the company pays tax for you I was paying tax as if I was working for the entire year so I actually worked less than like the boundary so anything I paid into tax was actually meant to come back to me because I never um, went over the boundary of like 10 grand I think it is that you're supposed to be able to earn before you get taxed so they are posting me back well I say posting me transferring to me um, back the um, my tax, which is good, which is nice. It's a nice little injection, um, which I was hoping for. Now it's just that and my, <laughs> God, it's depressing now, isn't it? That and my deposit from the old flat, which is going to be a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be because I fucked up the painting yesterday. Um, <laughs> the, that and the tax back from the, um, uh, the tax and my income is like my last two injections of income before my next loan, <laughs> which is sad. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> yeah, seeing that, it is like nearly November. So that's like, that's plenty. <laughs> that's plenty. I've still got savings as well. And um, slowly we'll be putting money back into the savings as well because we'll be, we're, because of the rent we paid for this place. Words. Anyway, so that's that done. I've also typed up my lecture notes uh, and I got to the point where I've like finished my lecture notes and I'm about to start doing my report, but I'm like, I'm still on the phone. I'm going to sit and play a game on the Nexus while I wait for the phone to pick up. Um, and that's what I did. I've been playing flight. Oh God, flight simulator. Which a flight? This thing. It's so much fun. God, it's really friggin' addictive though. When you've got no internet and you can't play Hearthstone. Honest with you, I kind of feel quite like like I've got a like I don't know, like sicky cold. Like not very good. I don't feel well particularly. Which isn't grand. It isn't grand at all, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, back to work. <laughs> what about you have another half past, apparently. Right, I am going through currently. Um, my surface is currently moving its um, Google Drive folder. Uh, it's moving it over to onto the SD card. 
because all the files on there aren't really like quick access files, they're not programs I need to run quick, and if they are then I can copy them onto the SD, uh, the SSD. Um, basically Google Drive should be something that's there, I'm in a dilemma really, because obviously I could just plug in my S my uh, portable SD SSD thing, God, why does everything have the same letters, uh, and everything would run fine, super fast and it would be brilliant, but you have to plug it in all the time. I'm trying to make as much as I possibly can work without that. So at the moment it's just like video editing stuff and um, backups and things are on there. Um, but things like Google Drive, it's a big folder but it's all like Word documents and things like that and then there's, the problem is like some code runs on it, not, not much code, but then it produces logs. In fact, no, no that's a lie isn't it? No, there isn't any code running on it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a big folder and it's just like adding just loads and loads of PDFs and all this kind of stuff. And I can just dump that onto the SD card instead of um, basically pissing about with that on um, things. So I'm trying to figure out, while I've, while I've figured out now, how to get Google Drive to accept the SD card as a normal hard drive, because it kind of ignores it. Um, so that's currently what it's doing, which does mean it needs to copy everything over, which is going to be a bitch, an absolute bitch. Um, to be fair, I don't think I've got a lot in my Google Drive folder. I think it is literally like a gig. But I don't, obviously don't want to download a gig on this. I just want it to like start. I want it to start setting up the structure and then maybe download a couple and then I'll cut the internet and then I can just move um, to uni and then re-download everything again. Um, I'm thinking that's the best shout. Otherwise I'm waiting for Laura to come home. Um, she, maybe I've got, I'll put the oven on, which is good. And she wants roast um, jacket, um, jacket sweet potato, sweet jacket potato. I don't know what the technical term for that is, um, but that's what she wants. So I'm gonna put the oven on early. And I'm like, do you? St I might. I've got a microwave it for a bit as well, apparently as well, as well as apparently. Well. I assume that you stab the jacket potato. And I know you stab a normal potato. Do you just stab a sweet potato? Otherwise, reformatting things takes a bloody long time. It's got to be said. Jesus. I should have clicked. I unclicked quick format. That was a mistake. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing the video to an end now. It is late o'clock at night. Uh, oh god, can we do this with his toe? Will I get electrocuted? No. The worst thing about having a plug to power your computer underneath the bloody... Um, desk? You've got to go underneath it, don't you, to do your thing. It's really irritating. So, um, right, what's gone on since I last spoke to you? To be honest with you, I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, I was doing that Google stuff, uh, moving Google Drive and things. That's all done now. Um, so that's all set up. Ready to rock and roll. Um, I am going to literally turn on my computer now to render you and get you uploaded and all that kind of good stuff. Um, we have had dinner, sorted out the bins, gone shopping, um, so I'll have shopping lists and all that kind of stuff and we're now watching while I'm watching Made in Chelsea and I'm ill um, you know when you like your back hurts throat hurts, coughing ugh, I'm ill <laughs> so I'm trying to get myself together for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a cool fun day with uh, Beth and Ben so got that to look forward to um, but yeah that's about it really to be honest with you we just had a nice evening of shopping and stuff like that, basically. Um, tomorrow, like I say, interesting things with Beth and Ben. Whee, you're really too excited to get excited about that. Um, otherwise, though, we have a normal-ish day. I have a meeting with my final year project guy. Um, first one in a while. And to be honest with you, I haven't really got my project proposal sorted. Did I just save that as a new file and it just changed it back to what it originally was? That was annoying. Um, one, five, or one. Uh, and I have a couple of lectures, three lectures. Fun stuff. Come back tomorrow. See how it goes. I'll catch you later.